guys what's up you're watching reviewer with we so if this is your first time watching me thanks for tuning in if you're a returning viewer subscriber what do you do baby what do you do so guys today's episode is going to be on a series called ozark it has three seasons at the moment it's a crime drama and it basically takes place in Missouri and as well as Chicago for a bit. So the storyline, what happens is a character called Marty Bird and his partner are laundering money for a cartel. And so they're laundering money, they're laundering money. And then eventually the cartel finds out that no money is short, something's not right yet. And they figure out that actually Marty and his partner have been chowing their money. To correct, it's actually only the partner. And so they kill the partner and Marty is left because they assume he's part of it, right? And Marty saves himself and he's like, listen, I didn't take any money, but I'm willing to compensate for what has been lost. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill my family. I'm going to clean your guys' money. Give me five million. There's a place called the Ozarks. I've got it. Awesome. Marty moves to the Ozarks. It's in Missouri. And they leave Chicago. And they move to the Ozarks. Vibes, you know. That's like a holiday destination. Rich people come there, you know. You guarantee to just wash money. Sure. Then what happens is they buy businesses there. And they basically start the process of the laundering of the money. And the Langmores happen to steal their money from them. And he figures it out and he approaches them and he's like, okay guys, you wanna steal this money. I just want you to know that it's not my money. I'm cleaning money for serious big bosses. So if you're gonna take this money, you better know that they're gonna come after you and then they're gonna come after me and then we all die and then this was all just a waste honestly so cut the slack give me this money or you need to decide either you're gonna kill me and take this money and then get killed after killing me because these people are gonna want their money or take this money and i need to tell them that it's y'all and rap so these people are like no 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 so they give him the money back but now they like side eyeing him they side eyeing him they're wondering mm -mm, this guy who is he killing money for who is so powerful they, they decide now that they want to approach the pastor because there's more money in churches you know and they decide that they're gonna build a church for him you know and obviously with offerings and and, and that's the easiest way to clean money oh way now they meet up with the snails who are the people that have been owning this town they've been pushing their own illegal business which is heron and now they're like mm -mm, you're interfering will i be so what is this we're gonna kill you or you better cut your nonsense so what they want to do is to build a church for the the priest um on land because the priest was preaching on water because he didn't have an infrastructure and his chat was like i don't need an infrastructure I can preach where I need to preach. And there it's boats, you know, lakes. So high. And the boats was working for the snails because that's where they would distribute the heroin, you know, sharp. So now they have to stop the church shandies, but they can't tell the pastor that. So they tell the pastor that, no dude, you know, working on Nane, like little by little, we'll build, you know, I don't put a cross, just like slowly build, slowly, slowly. And then like, we'll finish. We just need to sort out the finances, you know, lies sure eventually now things get messed up with the pasta he finds out that yo these people are actually dealing drugs at his congregation or whatever you call it and it's tense and the wife said to him he's like listen dude just let them deal with your drugs because the problem is these people are dangerous we don't want to mess with them you're still preaching your word you're still getting your word across like it's okay fam he doesn't listen something happens rap anyways so that's what happens right and then also the children of muddy bird like they go through their own things like the daughter charlotte like she's behaving like a lost girl trying to like appease young like older guys that come for holidays to the ozarks and they use her and it's tense 
the boy i can't remember his name he's just like does weird things like he's weird like he's ning ning he's killing animals ning ning he's he's like trying to shoot like oh, he was a mess like the family wasn't coping you know with this change and so Mari is cleaning the money things are going well and then obviously things flop because now he's 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 interfering with the snars business and so he came to an agreement where he's like okay guys i can make you guys both make money right the cartel and the snars he's like i'm gonna build a casino it's gonna be on the snars land because your land is huge people can come there you know clean your money or something awesome now that middleman for the cartel that was monitoring bomadi and them something happens to him i'm not gonna tell you and mm, it stands so then they send another middle person you know cartels don't waste time like they're not about it and they send that middle person called helen who's a woman now and they ask her to check out what happened to the previous guy what's happening bomadi act like they don't know, but they know. Then, then this lady basically takes over and she monitors Marty and them and so forth and so forth. And then Ruth is another girl who's part of a family called the Langmos. I told you about the Langmos, I think. Sure. They Ruth joins and um, blackmails Marty like on some listen, you're gonna hire me because if you don't, I'm gonna go to the police and it's not gonna be cute. So she joined Marty in with the with the plans of trying to steal from him and figure out where he's stashing all that money. But then as time goes on, she becomes loyal to him, you know, and his family and ends up actually being part of the whole deal. There's a detective that's trying to close in on this cartel and he figures out that this bird guy is actually laundering money for them, but he just, he can't prove it because Marty is an accountant. So he's very good at numbers and covering them and making things look legit. You got, so, He's too far gone so it's done so this cop goes to the extremes where he basically um arrests russ russ is a member of the langmos and i'm not gonna get into what happens with them but basically he finds a way to get information from russ you guys will see is messed up also that cop is messed up like whoa we have a user a band he uses people like show wow i even felt the pains anyways so he uses russ eventually russ something gets you know things get complicated and then rap he needs to leave the ozarks because nothing is happening they're like dude we sent you there to do work you're not doing anything so please bounce you're not you're not helping this investigation and then your cover's gonna get blown it's not worth it so so season two now the root dad is in prison right so he Lee, he comes out of prison in season two and basically he's on some he's also trying to find the money jeremy and he's trying to turn ruth and make her become bad like basically do what that family because that family is known for stealing hey doing the worst man doing the most so he's trying to bring her back to that lifestyle and she's not there because she's living a honest lifestyle you know going to work getting paid although it's dirty money but you know what i'm saying she feels it's better than to go somewhere and steal you know what i mean sure so the dad tries to convert her you know it, he does really snacks things like mm, i didn't like it and then eventually Marty and wendy which is the wife of Marty, they decide that this guy's becoming a problem and he might eventually end up exposing our business so this is problematic he needs to bounce or something needs to happen so they give him money to skip town he takes the money he goes you'll see what happens after that when you watch it sharp now this helen lady likes um wendy the wife to marty because she can she can see that wendy's driven like now ever since they started this drug business she's like she has this you know this i don't know what you call it but she has that thing and she likes it because you know women to women we're pushing it's very hard in this industry to be known to be seen you know those vibes and it's bothering marty because marty's just like dude everything i'm doing is just trying to get us out of this i'm not trying to keep us in this business so you and the things that you're doing it's like you're trying to stay in this and that's a mess because now you're putting us in more danger than we already were because our lives are always in danger it doesn't matter whether we clean the money or not they can kill us now so what you're doing mm -mm, i don't like it so 
they were fighting they weren't agreeing as couples it was a mess and it's worse because something happened to Mar marty and marty started like he almost like lost himself or you know when you someone is weak like they no longer have that fighting spirit to survive and when you could see it and that's why she took over you got it so season three um now it's more about the cartel guy and now we actually see him and he he meets wendy first but marty doesn't know about it because you know wendy's being the big boss uh, hi so she he meets wendy wendy gives a proposal you know they talk and then he starts calling wendy like randomly at night during the day and marty starts listening to the conversations using some technology where you like hack the phone call and they catch him mm. the things he goes through wow i won't tell you you'll see when it happens but they call him obviously and then um now wendy needs to push the drugs she needs to make it work she needs to get the money moving oh and also i didn't tell you guys but uh how marty managed to get the snails which were the people that were pushing her in, and the drug cartel guy which is the navarro cartel to work together is that he's he said the casino i'm not sure if i said that but it was a casino that they needed to build right and so they managed to get the casino running which took forever like i think it was two seasons till they actually got it together because obviously people wanted a, a cut in it you know like the kansas city mob who felt like no you can't make a casino and not involve workers which is what the kansas city mob is about and they also got in though like no you're not about to do these things and then marty had to give them a cut too that is just a mess after a mess after a mess like you know when you keep digging a hole you're digging it's getting deeper and deeper and deeper like the more money wants to get away from this the deeper he gets into it like you mess anyway so we're on season three they're seeing a psychologist mistake they're seeing a psychologist because remember the deal is don't tell anyone about your business it's only you as a family that must know about it and that's it don't tell your cousins don't tell your aunts don't tell your sisters nothing just your family so they're seeing a psychologist but no, no, I lie. Um, a therapist, and so the therapist like, but they don't, they don't say what the actual issues are. But I can't explain it. Like, so they'll say like, no, Marty doesn't want me to be part of the business, and it's giving me problems. You know, he's always trying to be the boss, and then he'd be like, no, but you know that the business we're in is very dangerous, and it could get people to get hurt. You know, they, that's how they talk. So the psychologist, the therapist doesn't know what the actual business is but she gives them advice do you know what i mean but then like the flop is they're both paying the therapist to be on each either one side so that they can win arguments like that relationship is messed up like it's a mess and the reason it's messed up is because i forgot to say wendy was having an affair and he found out about it and mm, rap and then the kids found out about it it made things even worse then there was a point where the daughter charlotte wanted to be emancipated which is like basically saying that i'm 18 i want to leave i'm out i don't want to be part of you guys i want to be my own adult out and i was just like charlotte are you dumb you the moment you become emancipated they're gonna kill you because they're gonna think that you're gonna talk about the drug business to other people duh but no girl didn't see that that really annoyed me and like she got lawyers involved she didn't want to talk to her parents i was like girl stop okay guys i'm going everywhere like i'm everywhere now but you know what i'm saying so yeah basically now they're talking wendy was the one that was talking to the katata guy and then marty found out and then at some point marty at some point they're both gonna meet they meet the cartel guy right but like that's at the end and something big happens like the last episode yo you know when you watch something and something happens and you're like no and then you check them the the series when you're watching it and you see that it's finished and you're like uh uh this can't be the end and it's the end and it's wraps it's done you must live with it you must wait till the next season comes that was me at the end of end End of season three like that's basically all that happens it's not a lot in season three but yeah the main purpose is them meeting the cartel guy and the cartel guy making them do certain things and yeah go tricky go wow and also ruth basically 
starts to question her loyalty because throughout she becomes loyal like very very loyal she loves Marty and Wendy you know she's on their side and then at the end she's just like I don't know what I got myself into and the reason she, that happens is because Wendy's brother rocks up and he just rocks up out of nowhere and he decides he's just gonna stay with them and then he figures out that the family is involved in drugs and he freaks out worse he has bipolar so and he's not taking his medication rap oh he becomes a mess like you know when someone is annoying like when you watch this it's almost like you're part of the family you know you're also doing the drugs hey this guy wants to now scream to the whole world that his sister is involved in the drug cartel and i'm like dude are you dumb they're gonna kill you like you cut your nonsense right now Joe. Oh, that guy stressed me like stressed me one minute because he's losing it and he's not on his medication when he's going with wendy one minute wendy's sleeping he sneaks out next thing someone's knocking on wendy's window of the car it's the police they're telling her that no her brother said that they're under attack from the cartels and they're in danger nye, nye. like why are you like this? Like, don't you understand that you're putting your family in more danger by snitching? The cops are gonna do what? Because these people pay the cops. You just cut that nonsense. Yo, the brother annoyed me, guys. Like, he really. You know, the, the daughter annoyed me. Like, okay, there are a lot of people that annoyed me, but the brother was top tier. Like, he was annoying. Because I just didn't understand why he can't just say. Honestly, close your mouth. Like, which I know guys is stressful like the series is stressful and so yeah that's basically what happens throughout all three seasons honestly speaking I think it was a really great series I've heard people say though that they don't like it and it's like like other series that they've seen before etc etc but personally I loved it like I wanted to keep watching I wanted to see what's going to happen next especially this season three i think was the best season because i think what was nice was that we get to see this cartel person do you know what i mean so number one i loved it i would watch it again and again and again it's okay okay maybe i'm exaggerating <laughs> but like i really liked it and I would watch it again for someone else so that someone else can watch it. I don't get what I'm saying. But like for myself, like again, I don't know. Because it it's long. Like each episode is like one hour. So I don't know, hey. But the acting is really good. So I guess it's understandable if a person could watch it again. The acting is amazing. Jason Bateman, I mean, hi. Also, Wendy's good. I just can't remember her name as an actress, but amazing. Ruth. I think Ruth is one of my favorite characters from it because her accent, just her, her, her aura, like the way she pulls off her character. Anyone. So yeah, guys, I think you guys should really check that series out. It's phenomenal. And yeah, you won't you won't be disappointed especially if you like like shows that have to do with drug cartels you know laundering money you know crime blah 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 it's for you yeah that's all guys so i hope you enjoyed this i hope you want to watch the series and please follow me on all my social media pages and tell a friend to tell their friend to tell their friend to check out the viewing with me yeah that's all guys okay can we discuss how cute my makeup is i'm improving like i mean from the first videos you get out of here i mean what huh ah! <laughs> don't forget to stay updated stay posted stay relevant stay on And they leave Chicago and so they start all of like their lives from scratch. They move to the Ozark, they're part of the basically the bird, the bird family and basically mine. What happens is is what happens, uh, 